you tell everybody good morning? Can you say good? Oh, he's gonna sneeze. He's gonna sneeze. Cutest sneeze ever. Cutest sneeze ever. Can you tell everybody good morning? Hi, Sharky Man. Say hi, everybody. I'm so sweet. Can you say hi? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Marky. Marky Man. He's looking at the camera. He's not going to smile. He only smiles at people's faces. They have faces. You just don't see them. He's giving y'all sort of a smile. Hey, Marky. Look at Mommy. They're going to smile at Mommy. You can smile. <laughs> Say good morning, friends. Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's actually 11 o'clock, but we're it's still morning. <laughs> we're just getting up and moving good. I mean, we've been awake, but I've been doing the bottle dishes and taking care of this little guy. He just got up from his first little nap. He's been doing so good sleeping. So, so good. We're not sleeping through the night, of course, but I don't feel like a two-month-old should be sleeping through the night. At least my kids don't do that that early. They're too hungry. They want to eat throughout the night, but he's only waking up like one good time. I feed him like at midnight-ish, and then I, um, it's kind of like a dream feed right before I go to bed, and then he wakes up like around three or four, and then he sleeps till six, seven, eight o'clock, so it's been awesome. He's just perfect. So I thought we would do a daily vlog. I've been like starting daily vlogs and never finishing them. So I'm determined you guys are going to see this one. We are going to vlog a rainy day in Georgia in isolation. <laughs> and I will just bring you along and show you everything that happened. So last night I was up in the middle of the night with the baby. It was like three, two in the morning, something like that. And I needed a few things from the store that Walmart was out of or I forgot to put on my Walmart grocery pickup for this week and so I thought we have a Kroger that's local so I just thought let me see if they have any times available in the next couple days they have one for this morning so I made the order and Dave's gonna go pick it up it's like $30 I got some chicken nuggets I forgot to get those this week some tortilla chips that Walmart was out of some cilantro what else did I get what else did I get I got stuff to make ice cream sundaes. I thought that'd be a fun like weekend treat for Lucy and us to do kind of like a make your own ice cream bar and a banana split. Maybe we have a lot of bananas we need to use up. So I will show you guys what all we get at Kroger. It's literally like, it was supposed to be $30, but there was a couple things they already told me they were out of. Magic shell and I wanted some edamame and they were out of that. So it'll probably be less than 30 bucks now. Kroger is doing free grocery pickup. They're waiving the fees right now, which is awesome. Um, but our Kroger definitely is a little more expensive than Walmart. So I don't know. I probably can't shop there all the time. Look how crazy my hair is. But um, <laughs> I need to get myself together today. But, you know, for, for quick things, I think it's a good deal. You have to go into the store. It's awesome. David's also going to get the kids' lunches, so I'll show you that. A lot of you have been asking, like, what they've been getting for their uh, lunch at the school. They don't always eat it. It just depends on what it is. This is what our rotation has been. It's been either PB&Js, which they don't eat, but I eat late at night when I'm breastfeeding or pumping. Um, they eat, either get that, cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, chicken sandwich, or, like, mini corn dogs. That's been our... He's starting to get fussy because nobody's talking to him. And then they also get a breakfast item. They get milk. They usually get a vegetable and a fruit. So I will show you what we get What we get today. Hopefully it's something they like. But we do have leftover pizza from Little Caesars from yesterday. So that's probably what I'll feed them for lunch. A lot of times um, Dave and I will eat their school lunch if they don't like it. It's because we don't want the food to go to waste and it's good food. So... Um, it really helps our school system for all of us to get the food because the school gets reimbursed for it. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I need to work on jewelry today. I'm doing a jewelry show every single night. If you guys haven't ever tried paparazzi jewelry and you want to, make sure you're following me over on Facebook. We have a lot of fun, silly <laughs> jewelry. And we're just feeding babies, taking care of kids. The kids have got to do their schoolwork. I'm so over the schoolwork. Um... It's not a lot. Their teachers have really done a great job by not overwhelming us with schoolwork, but it's just 
It's no fun. Nobody wants to do anything where we're all done with the school year. <laughs> but we have a couple more weeks before we're officially done. So yeah, you smiling at mama now. So I've got to get that done. Um, so yeah, when David gets back, I'll hold the camera back out. I'll show you guys what he get got at Kroger and I'll show you guys what they brought or that he brought us from their school. And it's also a rainy, rainy day. So we can't even get out and go for a walk. We can't do, we've been doing sidewalk check outside and bubbles. We can't even do that because it's raining and yucky. I think we're supposed to have some storms today. Lucy is on her like hundredth run of Frozen 2. She has watched that movie every single day. And so she put it on today and I was like, Lucy, are we watching this again? And she said, well, I didn't watch it yesterday. And she's right. We missed like one day out of the last weeks of it. So we're watching Frozen 2 again. I have been encouraging her. <laughs> Who remembers in the 90s? Um, the Disney sing-alongs. So uh, did you guys see the special they did uh, last this week? The Disney Family sing-along on ABC. Lucy loved it. We've watched that several, several times. So I started YouTubing Disney sing-alongs because we used to watch those cassette tapes, the cartoon sing-alongs, all the time. And YouTube has tons of them on. Um, like, like, I think there's like dozens or at least over a dozen of the Disney sing-alongs on YouTube. So we've been down that rabbit hole watching those too. Yeah. Okay. He's like, nobody's talking to me. Nobody's looking at me. Let's see. Hey. Hey. What's your problem? I want to go back to Walmart and get him some more of these pajamas in a bigger size. This is a three to six months, but they're sharks. We call him Marky Sharky. And they're shark pajamas and they have the reverse zipper and they're only $5. Go to Walmart and get some. They're awesome. They have several different prints but I like the sharks. I need to go back and get the six months before they're out. But anyway, we're going to go. He is due to eat in less than an hour. And I, so he's eating every three hours. I'm pumping every four hours. Just, I, it's too hard to do every three to keep up with him. Um, so <laughs> we're on a little break right now. We're going to cuddle and play before it's time for him to eat and me pump again and all that lunch time it's very close to all that so come with us y'all we're gonna do some daily vlogging all right guys it's loud in here but nate's having pizza and grape juice how are you doing nate you say hi you say hi hi how are you you're good lucy's watching frozen like i told y'all pizza and peppers and look at this guy we just got him this jumperoo we have to put a blanket behind him because he's too little. <laughs> he's only in it for a few minutes each time, but he really likes it. All right, guys. So today we got home with our groceries. Let me show you what we got. Um, like I said, they did not have the magic shawl that I ordered or the edamame. So this will be like $27-ish once we take that stuff off. But let me show you what I did get. So I did get some tortilla chips because I want to make homemade salsa tonight. Stay tuned. Hopefully I'll show you that later. Hopefully the day doesn't get away from me and I end up making that. But <laughs> some tortilla chips. And I went ahead and got some corn chips because I'm thinking about making taco soup at some point this week. And we need we like those with that. So corn chips. If not, we'll make it next week. I've really been wanting some iced tea and I'm out of tea bags. I really like this cold brew kind um, because you don't have to like boil water. I know that's lazy, but that's life. Um, we got some milk. I got some whipped cream. So I thought about doing like ice cream sundae. So I got a big thing of cookies and cream ice cream. We love Kroger's ice cream. That's a gallon. And then I got some whipped cream, a little jar of maraschino cherries. We have chocolate sauce already. I tried to get magic shell, but they were out. So make little ice cream sundaes. Cilantro for the salsa. Every time I go to Kroger, I try to get this quesadilla cheese for Nate. He really likes these into quesadillas. Um, it's really good cheese. And I don't find a lot of stores have this kind of cheese. That's like readily shredded and stuff. Crinkle cut fries, the kids chicken nuggets. And David asked me for vanilla wafers. So I got him some of those. Let me show you what came for lunch for the kids today lunch, they do lunch and breakfast so today they had hot dogs so they each got a hot dog david and i will probably eat that because they don't really love hot dogs 
and I already fed them pizza. Um, and then they got cocoa puffs, blueberry muffin, I guess that's technically the breakfast, celery sticks, bananas, a grape juice, and then they get a milk and a they get a milk for lunch and a milk for breakfast. So that is everything that came. And um, it's 12 now. The baby's eating lunch. And we are going to get going on schoolwork. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So I thought <laughs> I would talk about our new favorite entertainment here. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever gotten to review. Definitely yeah, not sponsored. I, I will show them. This is not sponsored. I was sent a robot vacuum cleaner to review, and the kids think it's the funnest thing in the world. We think it's really fun. It's pretty cool. It's it pretty cool. cool. It's it called the Robit. Is that how you say it? Yes, Ro robot. I think it's it's R O B I T. I will link it down below. It's a really really yeah. good deal. These things are really expensive. <laughs> But it is so cool. <laughs> this is actually a lot cheaper than some of the other ones I've seen around. So I'll link it down below and I'll show you guys. We have a, it basically, it's like this little robot vacuum cleaner and it goes all around the house vacuuming up stuff. You do, the only thing, downside is you have to make sure everything's picked up, like cords or clothes it will grab onto. And it has a little docking station and we actually have it underneath our entertainment center so when it gets low on battery it just automatically charges itself and it's kind of out of the way so let me show you nate everybody thinks it's so fun we just all watch it all the time we got it out yesterday to play around with it it goes underneath furniture it senses where the walls are and everything it's really really cool so I want to show you guys and tell you about it and thank them for sending it to us because it's been very fun let me turn the camera around and show y'all so Nate isn't so sure there it goes underneath the couch it's like a huge spider yeah it has these little arms if you guys see the little arms turning grabbing stuff That's clean all the do you like it Nate <laughs> they think it's like the best thing they don't know that they're throwing the sensors off because it's looking for walls and every time they get close to it it thinks they're a wall now nah, it'll it'll hit up against a wall and it'll turn around the dog doesn't seem to mind it too much either but it's so funny and we we ran it for what like 30 minutes yesterday and it picked up a lot of stuff that yeah, i was surprised that we had Hey, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I was surprised we don't had so close. much Let dirt in the floor because we had just vacuumed not that like maybe less than a week ago. <laughs> it is so cool. Ah, it's hit my foot. You gotta stay back from it. Stay back, Nate. <laughs> but our, I don't think our floors have ever gonna been this clean because we just love watching it go around. And we put the docking station underneath this thing. You can't even see it. So when it's time to go home and charge, it just goes right up under there and it charges itself. It's like a magnet charging thing. So you guys, I will leave the link down below. It when it hit, when it finds a wall, it goes the other way. And it has different settings. Like you can just do the edges. You can do auto, which is what we have it on where it kind of does everything. Random. Yeah. It's a really, really fun. So. It's also got spot clean. Yeah, spot clean if you have like an area that you need to <laughs> focus on. They don't touch. Like you spill a bunch of sugar on the floor. Yeah, that'd be cool. We thought about letting it run at night, but I'm afraid that it, it would get caught. stuck somewhere <laughs> or something. Or, but or it, get caught it likes to get up underneath this and swing. And it it, Honey, it goes hit you. Eh, it goes over this little bar and then it gets stuck in there. So we've had to. It gets stuck on the bar because the wheels are Yeah. Don't touch hey, it. Don't touch it. Dang. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a break? Turn it off. Okay. It's okay, Nate. Nate's having to get used to it. It's just a vacuum cleaner, buddy. Vacuum cleaner. What do I do? <laughs> Daddy's got it's got a remote that you've got to push. It's okay, buddy. It's just our vacuum cleaner, Nate. It's gonna go right over. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nate, what do you think of the vacuum cleaner? Do you like it? <laughs> hey, show them your new party trick, Nate. What Dr. Seuss book was published in 1950? 
Um, it's not even in the zoo. What well, Dr. Seuss book was published in 1963? <laughs> what Dr. Seuss book was published in 1639? <laughs> Lucy's distracting us. 1963. He's watching himself in the camera. What Dr. Seuss book was published in 1963? <laughs> You see yourself in the camera? Yeah. Nate knows the publication date of every Dr. Seuss book. Don't Mommy you? I quizzed him yesterday. <gasps> now he's making faces in the camera. Make a happy face. <laughs> Make a sad face. Uh, Make a surprise face. Yeah. Make a silly face. <laughs> Make an angry face. <laughs> oh, that's angry. <laughs> Make a bored face. Mm. Make a uh, sad, sad face. Make a hungry face. Even faster. Hungry face. Mm. Make a thirsty face. Mm. Make a Super fast. Uh, make a what else? Calm face. Mm. Um. Make a frustrated ah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Make a I love mommy face. Uh, That's your I love mommy face. <laughs> You're hilarious, y'all. Make a laughing face. <laughs> Make that your screen <laughs> They don't want to see inside your teeth. These kids are crazy. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh Lord, the baby's asleep. I don't know for how long. Okay. <laughs> Everything you can do, I can do better. Beat and repeat over here. <laughs> Ah! How's that? How's everybody like him doing schoolwork at home? Hi. It's not like that. Me? I just miss all my friends. Do you want mommy to homeschool you next year and you not go to school at all? No. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> we miss school so much, don't we? Help. Send help. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> all right. I want to tell you guys about the vacuum cleaner. Um, we've been having so much fun with it. It's over there. And it even does, oh, no, sorry. It even does like the tile floors. And I watched through after it had done it, and I couldn't believe how nice it felt. It literally felt like I had just swept. And I didn't have to sweep. So go check out that link down below. All right, you guys, I want to show you how I mix up the salsa. So in my food processor, I have a can, a large can of crushed tomatoes a can of diced, tom diced tomatoes and green chilies. I did drain those. And then I have about a fourth of a large onion, some cilantro, a sprinkle of salt, some lemon juice, and a tiny sprinkle of sugar. That's gonna help cut the acidity. And then you just put the lid on and blend it up and then kind of chill it in the fridge. It's really good. This is basically the Pioneer Woman's um, restaurant salsa so try it if you love restaurant salsa there's there's nothing that you can buy out of a jar that tastes like this so let me know how you make your salsa look who decided to wake up mark say agoo he's been talking to me goo hold on let's see just a second we're spelling all kinds of things marky say hi Hi, I am so sweet. Let mommy hold it. Smile, Mark. Smile, buddy. He's getting. Oh, oh, tell us about it. Tell us about it. Tell us. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, show him what you can do with Look at that baby. Who's that baby? Oh, he's getting mad. Who's that baby? Say hi, baby. Oh, that's a cute picture. Do it. Oh, my battery's about to die. Okay, we'll check in with you guys at dinner. 
You ready for dinner yet? <laughs> Oh. All right, you guys, so things got absolutely crazy and we just put the kids to bed at, like all day as fast. <laughs> I haven't updated you guys since earlier today. Um, the kids are to bed. We had the most delicious dinner, but it took me forever to clean up with it. Oh, I forgot the battery's low. All right, hold on, let me go change my battery real quick. So we had the most delicious dinner. We had burrito bowls with that homemade salsa. That salsa is so good. Um, it, the recipe calls for jalapeno. I meant to say that, but I don't like to eat a lot of spicy foods when I'm breastfeeding and the Rotel is, has a nice kick. So, um, if you wanted it milder, you could use a mild Rotel, which is the diced tomatoes with green chilies. Um, if you want it spicier, add a jalapeno, but it was so, so good. So we had rice, black beans, taco meat, which is like ground beef with taco seasoning, cheese, salsa sour cream so good and then uh, i gave lucy her ice cream sundae and david and i are gonna have one later um but right now he's feeding i just ba bathed mark he's feeding him his bottle and i am about to do a jewelry show the only problem is i don't have my board set up i've been setting it up in the afternoon but i didn't have time today to do it so if you're curious this is my board and i have been doing like a quick show every single night this week Last night I did crackle stone and turquoise jewelry. I took down the turquoise, the toy, I took down the turquoise <laughs> a few minutes ago, but I still have to take down all the crackle stone and then figure out what I'm going to put up, film that video to go live on Facebook, and then um, I'll be done. But it's going to take me a good 30 minutes or so to kind of figure out what I want to do and organize it, and that's going to be doing it really, really fast. But I'm going to be a little bit later tonight, but that's no problem. I love the fact that I can sell jewelry. I can do YouTube videos. Neither one makes a ton of money, but it definitely helps supplement and I can do it on my own schedule. I can do it on my own time. I don't have to fit into anybody's expectations or anything like that. So I'm trying to decide what to do. Maybe I'll do bracelets tonight or maybe like spring color jewelry. I'm thinking, I'm not sure. So First, I gotta take everything down. But anyway, I will show you guys that ice cream sundae. I'm looking forward to the ice cream sundae. I took a little taste of that cookies and cream ice cream from Kroger, and it was so good. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. And um, I'll check in with you guys then. Okay, guys, it's right at midnight. It took us forever to get Mark to sleep, and I just went in there. He had been asleep for about an hour and a half. And before I went to bed, I did like a dream feeding. And normally I can get him to take a whole feeding right as I'm going to bed. So hopefully I can sleep for the next, <laughs> you know, for the next few hours. But he only had like half of his bottle. So he was so tired. He was going to sleep right as he was drinking. And so I didn't force him. Um, it was about time where he should be hungry. But he's more tired than hungry because he fought bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how even a two month old does not want to go to sleep. Um, it's like 1210 right now. I did have my ice cream as I was holding Mark, but I, so I have a little clip here of my ice cream. I don't know, like it just a really good ice cream sundae sounded really good. I wish I'd had that magic shell, that would have been really good. But I had cookies and cream ice cream, banana, and they're like a, kind of like a banana split, some chocolate sauce, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. It's so good. And David and I watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy. So during this pandemic, <laughs> we started Grey's Anatomy. I've, I've already seen all the episodes, but David has never seen them. And so I started over with him and we're like on season nine. <laughs> That's how much Grey's Anatomy we've watched. We actually started the first season the last like two weeks I was pregnant. And um, then really ramped up watching it once we were home all the time. So... We've been watching that. We watched that. David is in bed. I'm about to join him and go to sleep as as much as I can. I have a feeling the baby's gonna be up a little earlier than normal. He has been doing so good sleeping at night. He's been waking up like one time and then really early in the morning and he'll go back to sleep after that. So basically one time, kind of two times. Um, and drinking his bottle and going right back to sleep. So he's been a champ. And last night I experimented not pumping in the middle of the night and I still got just as much milk throughout the day without doing that so depending on how I feel I may be able to do that it would be so nice if I can just go right to sleep and not be up pumping in the middle of the night because that sucks 
<laughs> literally sex. Um, but I even unloaded the dishwasher where I, I, that never happens. I always unload the dishwasher first thing the next morning, but it was done. And I thought I'm going to help my morning self tomorrow when I'm going to unload the dishwasher. So I've got a video scheduled to go up for tomorrow for you guys. Um, I am tired, but I've worked my butt off today. It's amazing. Like, I feel like we're just sitting at home, but I feel so busy, like pumping every four hours or so, feeding the baby about every three hours, um, diaper changing, laundry, cooking for the kids, cleaning their schoolwork, um, selling the paparazzi jewelry, doing YouTube videos. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm really tired. So getting up in the middle of the night and all that. So anyway, David does, we do swap out. We still have been swapping out in the morning. So if I'm up a lot in the night, um, when he gets up in the morning around seven, we swap out and I lay back down for a couple hours and that helps so so much it helps so so much so anyway i'm gonna sign off now um bottom line of the day make that salsa it was so good and eat yourself a banana split the cookies and cream ice cream from kroger is really good that's all i have <laughs> unload your dishwasher your morning self will thank you so anyway i'm gonna go to bed while this baby is asleep and i'll see you all later if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below please 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 subscribe if you're new we would love to have you a part of our youtube family and we'll see you all later bye guys